Hello and welcome to Noni, Yanga's flagship talk show where we discuss the topics that you, our viewers at home, are talking about just a little bit louder. I'm Judea Jess and today I'll be asking my guests, do we recognise Caribbean and to a lesser extent African dancing as a form of expression or vulgarity? So who are my guests? Well today joining me are singer and full-time mum Alicia Wilkins, journalist O'Shane Beach and actor Katie Four. Welcome everybody. Hi there. Hi. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Welcome. So we've all seen it in a club, at a gig, and even in front of a policeman on Labrick Grove during Carnival. A woman pumping and thrusting and rotating her buttocks to a soca or calypso rhythm as a man casually places himself behind her and starts juking. That is movement and thrusting in time with the music. So for those of you not in the know, you might think I've just described a sex act. And to be honest, anyone who witnessed it could be forgiven for thinking it was. But its proper name is whining. It comes from the West Indies and is a recognised style of dancing over there. But is this display of dry humping something we should embrace and applaud in public? When does the recognition and celebration of one's culture become an act of obscenity? Do we need to broaden our horizons and challenge our own prejudices? Or should the dancers be mindful of how their behaviour looks in front of families with young children and rein it in a bit to make it more palatable for the onlookers? Surely we should be allowed to dance in any way and anywhere that the music moves us. But does that include simulating sex on a dance floor, living room or at the office? Or should society stop mollycoddling and turning communities against each other as they participate in what, after all, is just a dance craze? Panel, let's discuss. Where do we begin? Yeah, where do we begin? It's a big yeah, topic. It's a, it's a big one. Yeah. Big one. Um, yeah, it is. Alyssa, you want to start? Yeah. The no, only thing in my head, I don't mm. know, like, since I find out about this topic, is, you know that song, Nanny Wine? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, from five, six, you know, mm. you go to parties mm. and Nanny Wine, everyone's just whining their ways, mm. and it's not, you know, simulating sex, it's just, a form of expression mm -hmm. and moving your body mm -hmm. to a beat yeah. and as a child you're not thinking that way mm. and you know you're, you're encouraged by you know yeah that's mm. just your dance mm. dance, dance. Mm. And it's not because yeah. it's um uh, vulgar yeah. it's just you know you're dancing to the beat but i find that was when we were younger it when was we like young, that it's so a whole different story. we had the yeah. bogle the butterfly yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a whole different story now there are Absolutely. people jumping off of roofs oh. and landing mm. in the splits and <laughs> it's crazy now yeah. Yeah. so yeah, yeah. 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 like honestly like i feel like as though um it's a bit I'd say um, I'm kind of on the fence with this one mm. because I'd say that some people would identify it as it's, um, you know, like part of your culture, you're promoting yeah. your culture. There's a difference mm. between mm. dancing and, as you said, simulated sex. Yeah. I feel like nowadays, mm. I feel like a lot of the stuff that I see going on in the raves now, you might as well just take your clothes off and start doing what you're doing mm. because that, that mm. looks like... Private room. Mm. Absolutely. But do you yeah. think that line's been sort of blurred? I think it has been because yeah. I feel like um, to carry on like that, it's not exactly normal, is it? So I feel like it's, it's really not. It mm. is definitely <laughs> vulgarity in my eyes. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. 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 Katie? I'm a bit on the fence as well. I mean, mm. when I think about something mm. like salsa. Girl. And, uh, no, <laughs> yeah. When I think about something like salsa or like flamenca, sometimes yeah. it is intimate and quite, you know, uh, sensual. sensual. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But it's not seen as like vulgar. Mm. However, I guess like... Well, that is a dance form. I think it, there's a couple mm. of different dance forms that have been banned um, in the past. Really? That were, you know, like yeah. salsa things yeah. that were sexual. Yeah. Um, and so in that in that vein, I, I think it also has changed. Like, I grew up, I've grown up in Labrick Grove my entire life. Yeah. And so I remember going to like even the kids carnival and I remember there was like the next day you weren't able to go to the Monday because it was no. too much. Yeah. Yeah. And, so, and that was from elders. Yeah. Like, yeah. So mm. sometimes even within the culture, it's mm. a disagreement. Yeah. And, and, what, and when it comes to young people and what they're exposed to, I guess mm. sometimes you don't want to, um, something which is close to sexual acts, mm. you're doing as a young child, we don't really know mm. what it means yet. Exactly. You don't understand it. So yeah. Yeah. There is um, a culture to it, but even mm. the elders, I remember not being allowed to go to the, the next day because... The Monday. Yeah, the yeah. Monday, is, it yeah. gets a bit crazy sometimes. Yeah. But the Monday is the adult. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. they call it, that's what I always exactly. think. But now, yeah. it's Sunday, it's, I'm sorry, but it's not Sunday, Monday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so a big thing that came up when I was looking into this topic was daggering. <laughs> and so I don't know if we sort of, we know what yeah. that is. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So, um, you know, for those of you who don't know what that is, it's a uh, dance form. It originated in, in Jamaica um, and it incorporates dry sex. 
mm. humping, um, you know, a lot of sexual movements. So how do we sort of think about that? I know that they want to ban that mm. um, in Jamaica and yeah. across the West Indies because it's, you know, they say it's, it's vulgar, but there are people out there that have really embraced this as a dance form and that's, they feel powerful, they feel mm -hmm. sexual and they really, you know, that's that's how they choose to dance. Yeah. Mm. So, Absolutely. Mm. I, I guess there's a, a place for that then. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I wouldn't necessarily dagger. Mm. Um, <laughs> I'd find it amusing because I maybe because okay. I can't believe that this is actually happening. Mm. But Lucy, yeah. where do you think people should be allowed then, if so, to dagger? Well, mm. maybe not at carnival where children can see. Because mm. I've seen, is it, is this, okay, is this the daggering where literally I've seen a man jump off a speaker? This is the one. <laughs> this is the one. Yeah, this is what we've seen. And land. Yeah. Wow. People yeah. treating yeah. other people like they're swimming pools and diving. Yeah, yeah. Land, yeah. Landing. yeah. Landing. yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Maybe not at carnival. Mm. Maybe not for children's eyes. Mm, yeah. So then yeah. where? In the daggering place where they... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just yeah. think it should be left in the bedroom. Like, honestly, really, that's, that's yeah. where it should be. Do yeah. you know what I mean? I think daggering is... Um, it can turn something so innocent into something just so... Uh, ju mm. Just so out there. Daggering yeah. is a misconception of what... Do you know, like yeah. the, like it's more of a display of it you know, is. It, do you know what I mean? And it, it's, it's all clout chasing. Do you know what I mean? Because mm. I remember like there was one girl that started this whole thing. I don't remember her oh, name. Okay. I don't remember. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't remember her name or mm. anything like that. But I do believe that um, she started it all, and um, they just saw it as other people started jumping on the bandwagon because mm. they saw it that okay, people send fear from all the way abroad. Mm. So she's coming over here to do certain things. So they mm. thought it was a way out of the ghetto, a way oh, okay. out of this, yeah. a way out. Do you know, there's a story mm. as a way out, another avenue of, mm. yeah. Mm. But I mean, this is serious. There's medical warnings. People are hurting yeah. themselves. Yeah. People I'm are not really, surprised if they're jumping off speakers you know, and landing. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But landing that on the people. Um, there's, you know, Jamaican doctors are warning, <laughs> you know. Wow. I've got some information here. I've got Jamaican doctors yeah. have warned of the dangers of daggering after having many cases of damaged and broken personal oh body, parts. Yeah. body parts. Wow. Yeah. Um, so, you know, the, the, the condition can result in permanent damage and therefore must be taken seriously. Yeah. So this is a serious, mm. you know, serious medical advice. Yeah. Um, we laugh, but yeah, there's think, real damage yeah, going absolutely. on. You can get, like, comedic about it, because even yeah. watching it, and like you said, <laughs> oh. sometimes when you're at the carnival, just watching it is amusing yeah. and, like, funny. But I guess sometimes if that's being encouraged, mm -hmm. then it's like, oh, wait, people can actually get hurt. Which yeah. is, <laughs> even that has, like, a sense of, like, laughing to it, but it's like, it's, it's, I never even heard that yeah. before. No, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no. No, yeah, people really are getting hurt. Um, you know, doctors from local hospitals in Kingston, Jamaica, report that they've been seeing a record number of broken penises <laughs> in the past few months. Um, they attribute this to the increased popularity of daggering. Wow. So, yeah. Wow. <laughs> has there been a rise in cert certain years? Like, I mean, what year I has it? I don't is it have really, years, is it but it is, it's, it's, it's recent. It's, yeah. Now? Mm. I think so, yeah. Interesting. Mm. I'm well, I've only, do you know what? I've only seen daggering, like the extreme daggering, like online or yeah. someone showing it yeah. to me. Like, you know, those, they, they actually have um, promo vids or they, they yes, yeah. or competitions. Mm. I've seen those things, mm. you know, mm. um, but I haven't actually seen the extreme daggering on the street. Now, if no. you're going to go to carnival, you kind of expect, mm. you know, mm. the a bit out there dancing. Mm. I played mass in Antigua, so um, mm. play mass, put on a costume. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, um, uh, so I've joined a, a mass camp that was like a Christian one and mm. I was simply walking in a costume mm. and the woman said stop whining your hips. It was oh, a, it wow. was it was a um oh, it wow. was an iron band um, mass, so it's like traditional Caribbean mm. music. And I was just walking, I was like just sixteen. And then I was in another troop where it was like the full on feathers mm. and you know, I can whine up and free up myself. Mm. But freeing up myself wasn't daggering. Yeah. Mm. There's actually yeah. a trick for that. Called extreme. Oh wow, they're doing all that. Mm. Now I feel for children's eyes, it's not right. However, if you're gonna go to carnival, expect to be see prepared for it. Yeah. Be prepared. Yeah. I mean, um, I've got some reports here about death from daggering. So there's a 27-year-old oh. construction worker who um, was living in Hopewell, Hanover. He died. Um, after going to a, a, a dance party. And it says that the man um, was at a, a jerk center uh, with his friends and they all started dancing. And um, he chose a partner, it was a 200 pound lady, and he um, lay on the ground and then she jumped on top of him. Um, and later on he started to complain of pain in his 
private area um, and he needed help and then he was you know in a lot of pain in the night and then he died the following day oh um, wow. yeah and so and it was reported the hospital reported that his death was a result of the dance moves the previous night so imagine death by daggering like, death by daggering from time people are injuring yeah. themselves i feel like as mm. though that it, it, it's just irrelevant and it comes across as a bit um possessive like mm. you know when someone's like possessed by some, oh, I know what you mean. Do you know what I mean? mean when yeah. they come across, sometimes it's a little bit out there. Yeah. I just feel like as well, even like your body, to be dealing with mm. your body in that manner. Mm. And also, it's kind of like you've got no sense of pride or, yeah. you know what I mean? That you have to have something mm. about you. So I do feel you think like, it's spiritual at all? Or I no? think it's definitely spiritual. I in think like these a, people wow. get taken over by mm. whatever okay. it is and uh, they just get, uh, they just run with it. Mm. I feel like the possessive mm. over like some women or, or like not being in control of whether they want to do the dance or want to... Like, I feel like you should have some, some element of you know be a bit reserved some element of control yeah. i feel like they're just they're out of control, control and that's what it is yeah mm. i feel like because they're out of control mm. like that you caught, can't really up in the moment maybe the hype you know because there's lots of people like come on yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. And the music and yeah. you know just get carried away but how do you think Absolutely. it reflects on us you know the black community for me i'm always worried when i see these videos online i constantly mm. think to myself oh my goodness so if people outside of our race look mm. at this what are they going to be thinking of us like Absolutely. how do you how do you like feel about it mm. um kd yeah i think it's hard to um, tell them to squash whatever expresses them, like how they express themselves yeah. Yeah. for other people. I think yeah. sometimes you just have to say, like, some people really do connect to it. And mm. like, I don't think sometimes we're in the place to be like, well, I wouldn't do this. And it's reflecting badly on all of us. I think mm. sometimes even like the black experience, it's so nuanced. Okay. And to sometimes we get put together and sometimes mm. it's just actually like, no, this individual feels that, that that's how they express themselves. So mm. okay. I try not to like say, mm. You're making us look bad. Yeah. It's, just, it's just their way of expressing themselves. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we need to take a short break, but when we come back, I'll be asking my panel, is attacking our dance moves just another way for society to demonise black culture? See you after the break. Welcome back to Noni with me, Judea Jess, and my guests, Alicia Wilkins, O'Shane Beach, and Katie Fall. So, the question we were discussing before the break was, do we recognize Caribbean, and to a lesser extent, African dancing as a form of expression or vulgarity? And now I want to ask my panel if they think the attitudes towards body shapes create conflict even before the dancing starts. After all, Europeans promote the thin, narrow-hipped, flat-stomached woman as the ideal whereas black culture promotes women's curves. People react when their norm is challenged. So do we think the reaction to this provocative dancing is to immediately sexualize black women, condemn their clothes, movements, and expressions of enjoyment? Panel, your thoughts, please. Mm. So is this another attack on us, mm. you know? Another sort of, what are they doing this time? Yeah. What's that about? How do we feel? Well... Mm. Mm. I was going to say, I think it's super interesting mm. when it comes to even just like um, the anatomy of sometimes black bodies being um, yeah. treated in a very different way. Mm. I think of like um, young girls, I know even like 12, 13, mm. and their body shapes changing and mm. then being sexualized from the outwards in. Mm. And so I think sometimes, it, I think you're right, I think it does begin before the dancing. Mm. It begins because of the shape of their body mm. and that is its own conversation. Mm. Like when I think of like the history of mm. black women being on show, like their bodies yes, being yeah. used for yeah. science mm -hmm. and, yeah. and to be studied mm. and, and, and left mm. and not disregarded. Mm -hmm. I think it's bigger than just um, the dance moves. Mm. That's, yeah. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. What would you say? Yeah. yeah. Mm. I mean, like throughout history, mm. we, you know, put us in leopard print. She's wild, she's sexy, mm. she's exotic. Mm. you know and it's like why are we looked upon as that this mm. is our natural mm. shape mm. Mm -hmm. why is it sexualized mm. um and then to put us in the category of the, the dance mm. dance style mm. that's you know mm. but then when you say us and we with the whole daggering thing it's isn't it relative to the the person and what their style it's relative to the, to the person but you know we're indulging in it and so i mean are we sort of helping to support this, you know, this sort of negative connotation by taking part, by wearing the clothes, or is this 
something that's not in our control in terms of the way that people view us and mm. look at us. I guess it's, it, we express ourselves how we express ourselves and we dance to express ourselves as well. Mm -hmm. And then to group us as uh, African people, Caribbean people, to sexy dancing, we are more than sex. Mm -hmm. You know, we are people mm -hmm. and we, mm -hmm. it's a form of expression mm -hmm. and it's, it's individual. Mm -hmm. um, but I, mm -hmm. I, I get it, like you have the European standard of beauty, the European shape, and then you have ballet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you look at ballet elegance. Mm -hmm. However, they are black people, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in mm -hmm. black ballerinas. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm with mm. a curvy mm. shape, but there's, there's mm. also black people with a, a you know, mm. straight body mm. as well. But as a whole, it's like mm. Caribbean, African, sexy curves, your music. Mm. But that and makes me, sorry, go, I was gonna say, that makes me think even that just like proves to the point that maybe it is just how other people view the bodies because mm. even the whole black ballerinas thing was a massive talk about people not bringing them into the academies and yeah. Stormy did a Glastonbury, this whole beautiful yeah. segment. Even the, the colour oh, yeah. of the natural, like the costumes mm. was exactly. pink and nude. I mean, when so, I was mm. little, I think you experienced this as well. Mm. I was, I, I, I did ballet when I was little mm -hmm. and they used to tell me to tuck my bum in. Tuck my yeah. bum in and yeah. they used wow. to hit me and tuck my bum, tuck, yeah. you know, it's like and there's old school teaching. Like, mm -hmm. tuck, mm -hmm. I was like, <laughs> I remember mm -hmm. being six, seven, I'm like, this is my mm -hmm. shape, this is my bum. Like, but, um, tuck yeah. it in. And so with bringing it back to um, carnival, mm -hmm. um, in Jamaica specifically, they had said to the black community, take some responsibility for right. the way you're dancing and what you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's sort of, in a way, the black community policing the black community almost and mm -hmm. advising ways, you know, to not represent this mm -hmm. way. So do we think that was needed? Well, as in to say, be careful that it's a bad or representation and it's not good. It's sort of a really disrespect for yourself. From outwards, it's right. not it's coming from, from inwards, so mm -hmm. it's not even somebody looking in and sort of looking down at us, it's from within. Like so saying, you're making us look bad. Yeah, you're making us look mm. bad. Think about what you're doing, think about your dance moves. Right, Be okay, responsible okay. with how you represent yourself to, to the world, how you represent us. Right. Do we think that was, is something that was is needed? I mean, Perhaps you're, you're a man of shame as well. So how, you know, when you yeah. see, does this attract you? How do you think about, you feel about it? Because I know there's many men that, if there's a girl standing there doing a two-step, clicking her fingers, and if there's a girl <laughs> whining to the ground, that's where he's looking. Absolutely. That's where, it, yeah. I think, it's, um, <laughs> I think it is um, sort of an attention-seeking thing, do you know mm. what I mean? I feel like it, it can be captivating, but for all the wrong reasons. Mm. And I'll say it's all about per someone's perception, so society's yeah. perception yeah. on a particular community. And let's, let's be honest, um, our community are one of the minorities. And mm. um, I think a lot of our culture is um, sort of like challenged in mm. sort of like unconventional ways. Mm. And I feel like society label us and put these stereotypes on mm. individuals from, um, let's say, our communities. Yeah. And uh, I think because of that, it's, it's kind of just, I guess other people have kind mm. of picked up on what's already out there because it, 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 there's not enough diver it's not diverse enough. There's not enough diversity in terms of representation of our community. Mm. So I definitely mm. feel like as though that's one of the issues. But can one we blame them, do you think? I think we have to take some responsibility yeah. as well, Judea. Do you mm. know what I mean? I think we definitely have mm. to because it's all down to ourselves as well. Because if, if you represent yourself well in the eyes of the public or just in the eyes of just everyone else, yeah. I guess, then mm. I guess you can only have um, positive feedback, yeah. um, mm. press, whatever, mm. exposure. Mm. I, I guess that's what it is. But yeah. I, I definitely feel it's, it's all down to perception. Yeah. Everyone yeah. perceives things yeah. a little bit differently. Mm. Yeah. For yeah. me, I mean, when I was doing research and just growing up, I do look at Caribbean dancing and African dancing and they're so different. I feel like, yes. you know, I've been to quite a few African weddings now, um, specifically Nigerian weddings, um, birthdays, and the dance is so different. So they have, you know, there's dance moves but they're not sexual. It's more like they're very proud movements. Mm -hmm. they're, they're sort of fun movements. They don't really, when they dance, they don't really look towards being sexual. Yeah. So you be beautiful and elegant and you know, you might do a bit of tease, mm -hmm. but it's not, the whole thing's not this big, big sexual movements. Mm -hmm. And I sort of wondered why, how did that, yeah. how did that mm. happen? Like, do why is it? Do you reckon it? it's like a more modern thing than how it's become like really, really sexual? 
and these big yeah. because it, it's not mm. just the dance the dancing goes with the lyrics so mm. it's like the music at the yeah that's the true function mm. so like you know when you take it back you know, mm. historically mm. you know african um dancing is um storytelling Mm. And you know, you know, Caribbean dancing is derived from African. Mm. You know, and yes. mu you know, music mm. is a way of expression. Again, so when you when you strip it back, it's not sexual. But then, if you put in context mm. with the music mm. nowadays, mm -hmm. like you know, the things are a little bit. Mm. You know, mm. I mean, what you see at parties mm. and what I want my son to see. So can I yeah, ask? Sir. Just I'll ask everybody one by one. What is it, Alicia? What would you like to see? Um, if you, you know, carnival coming up, yeah. what would you like to see at carnival this year? Like when you go, you know, obviously you're bringing, you'll probably bring your son. Yeah. So what would you like to, <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to see? Yeah. <laughs> no, when I say, oh, he's a bit young, not a bit young yeah. to see it all. Mm. It's just like a lot of people. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. That's, that's another yeah. discussion. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what I would like to see is like old school Caribbean mm. dancing, you know, just feeling the movement back to nanny yeah. wine, you know, and the nice mm. costumes and family, it's a, it's a, it's a mm. family celebration of culture celebration. Yeah. And, and it's a, mm. it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, celebration of the emancipation of mm. slavery. Mm. It's a free, you know, a free, a it's a day to express yourself. I completely mm. agree with you, Alicia. But um, no, ex not yeah, expressing yeah. yourself sexually. Yeah, <laughs> a shame. Like. Um, for Carnival this year, what I'd like to see people is um, yeah, just take it right back, as you said. You know, mm. I think it needs to. I don't think I've been Carnival at all within ever, and it's been celebrated for what it's being, for what it actually represents. Exactly. And I don't think it's celebrated in, in the right context mm. or for the right purposes. Mm. And I feel people are coming to Carnival with like many different motives. Mm. Do you know yeah. what I mean? You may be yeah. going carnival to go wind up yourself. Yeah. Another brother's coming because his op is over mm. there. Or mm. you understand what I'm saying? We've so forgotten. It, yeah, mm. we've forgotten mm. the purpose of carnival mm. and why we're actually mm. celebrating it. Mm. Why we march out on the street mm. at that certain mm. point each year, um, celebrating freedom. I guess. Do you know what I mean? So I feel yeah. like it needs to go back mm. to that. Mm. And I think that's where that's where I would, that, that's where I'd like to see carnival see go back to. Mm. Yeah. Katie. Mm. Yeah, kind of between both of those. I think. Uh, I'd like to see everyone expressing themselves, but just knowing the history, um, mm -hmm. actually so beautiful. I just watched a play called Juve, which oh, was set yeah, around the carnival over <laughs> two days. Yeah. And, and it's just beautiful storytelling, but it's also like knowing that history yeah. and knowing how it began and yeah. knowing like- it's remembering where you're from. Remembering that, I think, mm -hmm. will allow you to express yourself the way you want. But mm. in a beautiful way. Have yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah have yeah, fun. Have fun with it. Yeah. Like, it's a fun <laughs> two days like of just people enjoying themselves and, and yeah. loving their bodies. Yeah. So yeah, I would say have fun. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. I don't really walk around like this. Yeah. Yeah. Me personally, <laughs> like we've all said, it would be so nice if um our community just educate the young. Like why do yeah. we do things? Where do they come from? Um remember just teaching them to remember who they are and to be proud of themselves mm. um, and you know when you go out there you are representing where you're from mm. um, your family mm. and you know just yeah have fun but mm. have some pride some self pride and you know like that's how I feel. yes Oh, so that's it from me, Judea Jess, and my fantastic guests, Alicia Wilkins, Ashane Beach, and Katie Fall. Thank you for joining me, and don't forget, every episode of Nonny, past and present, is online at yangatv.com. So wherever you are in the world, you can see this show and other great content from Yanga. Join us again soon for more entertaining chat. Goodbye. <laughs>